The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck in an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. So last night, just the same way we were sat up here and um, contemplating going crayfish hunting in the night. <laughs> But yeah, I did this sell kind of broke my vibe like a hundred percent. Long story short, I put on an expensive unlimited plan. Then one of my subscribers sends me a cheaper plan because they didn't know I had on a plan just to show me some support. Boom, kicked off my expensive plan. It was weird. So it broke my vibe and really and truly I work off of vibe and if I don't feel like I'm in a good vibe to do something I'm not gonna do it especially swimming in deep dark waters in the night so we um, held that off now today's video I'm gonna have some cereal Jillian and I will have some cereal and um, we're gonna be doing some duck now some fried duck now the coolest part this duck actually came from Jilly's neighboring farmer so this guy has his backyard and he you know he has ducks and um, these things inspire me and that comes to talk about the next channel that I'm working on, which is going to be called Soy Farms. Um, this video here is going to be one of the last videos of its kind because it gets very taxing and expensive to travel to all of these places and camp. It's, it's a lot of work. So we're going to be working on our very own little base camp. It's starting this month. I'm going to actually be starting that whole project. So go over there to Soy Farms and you know make sure you guys show some support there is content on that channel already so if you want to show some of the support to that then fine because the channel is not monetized because i haven't posted on it for a very long time but anyway that's going to be a whole vibe and um yeah so today's objective we're going to have some breakfast and then we're going to jump into the river take a little swim because julie's been dying to go to a river and yeah honestly right now where my headspace is I just want to be out in the bushes working on that farming project. Um, again, go over there, show some support, and make sure that you guys watch that content. Show me some support because it's going to show the building processes. If you guys have been watching my videos for a very long time, you guys knew I used to do beekeeping. When I got my Rottweilers, I bought them for that sole purpose because I wanted to own a farm and I wanted them to be on that farm. Things didn't work out, but now things are working out the way it's supposed to be. I'm in the right vibe. Everything is in perfect alignment, so we're gonna go for it. So anyway, enough of that. I'll catch you guys over on that channel when we start working on it this June. And um, yeah. See many people in here you see. And I'm a rum, a red bull, and you see, make me awful, and I want me to get crawled. If you want to hear more of Jilly singing, go over to our YouTube <laughs> channel. Drop the plug. Jilly Beads. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a rum, hey, a red bull, and you see, make me awful. Go check out Jilly Beads, yo. <laughs> I can tell you the problem we're going to have with Jilly on the farm is going to be what? Hmm? You can't kill the animals. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Watch out. We're going to go. <laughs> Watch out, <man>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Wait, wait, no, I'm going to give it to you. Aggressive. <laughs> Alright, turn it off a bit. Oh, God, man. There's something about them that makes me feel so calm, so chill. Yeah, we bring for them. All right, them crown of food. Oh God! Hi. Come and see. You do know you can't name any of the meat chickens, right? Why? Huh? Why? You can't do anything. So you're gonna name it and then eat it? No, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take the phone. Oh, 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 oh. 
Japão, e aí o ele é com a classe, e aí ele é pizza. Então Julie diz que esses são os que eles chamam de peel neck. Mas não sabemos por que eles chamam de peel neck. Bem, obviamente eles parecem que eles não têm aqui no neck. E as pessoas well country people normally have one in their yards mm. because it is a ledge for those who believe in stuff like that that if anybody tries to do you anything they scratch a lot mm -hmm. and they so they help us they, they scratch out whatever anomalies are placed in your home to hurt you peel neck <laughs> get yourself a peel neck you peel neck there so j yo j boy man no know Jilly says she wonders if the chickens are happy. Look at all these chickens. I think these chickens are just fine because nobody trying to eat them. Yes, I live them best life. Try to hunt them. They look not well. How would you know they're maga? <laughs> Yo, that one's definitely a peel neck. This one here. Peel neck. Peel neck rooster. Wow. So my bamboo little crayfish spear is done. We're gonna give Jilly the little bit more official. That one is kind of makeshift as well because it has a Cressy spear head tip and I just used uh, some scrap PVC piping to actually make that work. And of course this one is made out of bamboo. So I'm gonna give her that one. That one she should have a, a better strike rate with it and it's um, a lot stronger. So yeah, we're gonna jump it in this water and see <laughs> How much we can catch. I honestly think that it's gonna be a lot better for night fishing. We're gonna set some traps in the night, um, put some coconuts in there, and hopefully that um, you know gives us a better yield. But for the fun of it, we're gonna take a nice little dip and catch some fish. So where we are, we are very close to Chaka Cove, so that's why you see people coming down on their little tours and stuff, you know, doing the tubing. Um, exact location is Calbee's, Hidden Beauty. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down The chick there Those are your seed though, those are the shrimp and that I go bust them up. Yeah, that is such a big spear. So yeah. probably chops there, but I see the crayfish yet. They, I think they've come up better because what we see the diet was a lot more than this. Yeah. Well, we see a lot of shrimp, but we see big ones, you know, the soft shell ones. Look at me, I don't mind eating. 
All right, so we are finding a lot of river shrimp as expected. Um, but we're trying to catch crayfish because these spears will, they will desiccate the whole um, shrimp. So um, I'm gonna say traps for those, so we'll definitely catch those. But we're going for some crayfish, one of the big ones, the harder shells. Um, I think the spears will hold it better for those. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down, even if the sky is falling down, the sky is falling down. All right, so just redid the spear just now because the tip was a little bit too wide, so that's redone. I'm waiting for Jillian now to forward with the traps because we're going to set some traps from now because there is a bunch of river shrimp it's ridiculous i mean those are the better tasting ones because the shells are soft but yeah probably if i don't find any crayfish then later tonight i'll go back because they definitely come out in the night to eat. Let's hope. <laughs> let's go. Let's, that's a lot of them, so let's go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. I actually like this bait bag, it's really nice looking. I said actually like this bait bag, it's very nice looking. It looks sturdy. Alright, so the first trap is baited. You wanna bait that on? And it is gonna bait the other one. Mm -hmm. 
the right side of the beer, side of traps are laid we're just gonna leave those until tonight we come check them back and i'm sure crayfish are going to be walking out there tonight for us to spare so this is a dog that the backyard farmer gave to me and yo i learned so much from him i'll share that on the other channel so i farms for sure but um this duck definitely feels tender because there's a process to get it that way um here i believe these are the livers of course and this is the heart yeah, this is a heart yeah mm -hmm. definitely a heart and yeah this is it so we're just gonna cut this up fry it up duck is considered to be like red meat you can see that it's pretty red but nice and tender so we're gonna just chop that up season it like how we're gonna fry chicken and yeah i'm interested to see oh gizzards are in there as well nice so this is the gizzard people go crazy over this i don't know why but yeah <laughs> what yo this is a long ass neck bro what the hell you know what i fly out like Actually, only you alone would know you know <laughs> only you alone i didn't move me there <laughs> you know what i tell you wobbly yeah because the, the earth kind of soft Soft, way softer than that one. You know what? Because I like doing a whole fried, I'm gonna do it just the same way. So give me a nice of fried too. Oh, for those who are wondering why the skin is off because <laughs> the farmer thought it was a lot easier because to pluck duck is pretty it's pretty difficult especially if you're not using a plucker so that's why um there's no skin on plus duck is usually very fatty so it's gonna be healthier as well too i'm not even sure how it's gonna come out because <laughs> fried chicken without skin is kind of weird but let's go for it I know for a fact that the farmer did already because I saw when he washed it off in vinegar water, but still, give it a nice little soak again. And we're gonna fry up everything, every single thing. Yeah, we, we basically just out here just holding a little vibe before we start on this new project on soy farms. You know, just enjoy the little moments out here camping, Juliana. Eh? And yeah, show you some clips of the stuff that we're cooking. So. This is what we're working on. I want to become a lot better at making duck. And yeah, I'm almost certain just learning how to farm it and you know, having more of the meat to experiment with, I'll become way better at doing it. Because for those of you who don't know duck meat here, um, I don't know the poundage, but a duck here, probably like this size, is costing somewhere around $6,000. When I last looked at it, maybe a year ago. So six thousand dollars in US equivalent, it's somewhere around like forty-five bucks. So that's a lot of money, especially if you want to learn how to cook a meat. And um, yeah, so 
once we have the farm up and running it's going to take time you know something like this should become super simple to do and for those who want to know this duck is a Moscovy duck so that's the duck meat that we're using Come, go on. Cannibal. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. My girlfriend, go feed them. Go on. Go, 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 go. Wanna feed them too? <laughs> go, 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 go. It's safe to say I put too much peace to soak in this mason jar because they swole right up. I like Jilly say, turn into a crossword puzzle. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so we're gonna make some rice on peas. Try one. Which one you go for? That's the heart. That piece? Mm hmm. You don't want to. <laughs> Black heart. Tastes like heart. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's like the thing that's like the river. Mm -hmm. Heart's good. Oh God. <laughs> So mellow. You can have all that. No, it's a bad man to name them type of thing, my brother. <laughs> Alright, so we cut the duck in half because, yeah, the fryer is not that big. Forgive my very flowery hands, guys. I know that's a vibe. And I cook. Mm -mm. Look at sexy though. <laughs> How's the gizzard? Good. Good? Mm-hmm. The liver is kind of a raw taste. What is it? The liver? It's a game of gizzard, you know. I don't like it. It's not tasty. You should like liver to me. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Very different from the insides. Hmm? Very different from the insides. Nice. Nice, huh? All right. Dinner is served. Yes. Not so bright out, but yeah. Fried duck, rice and peas with some gravy on top and some tomato in little salt and vinegar. So that's the vibe. Let's go.
So dinner was pretty awesome. It actually turned out better than I thought because you know my first experience cooking duck it was not as tender as this one. This one was pretty tender so I'm super happy with that. And of course you know during our exploits doing soy farms you're gonna learn so much more about meat. So guys go over to that channel, check it out and wait for the awesome content. But anyway we're gonna head to the river right now and um, yeah see Jilly, Jilly is like so hell bent that we caught so much and I won't lie looking from afar it did seem like some was in there but let's not get our you know hopes are too high and we're gonna try to spear some use that little artisanal spear and see how much we can catch with it the last time when you use a makeshift bamboo you shell it down oh yeah so we, we came here before and i used um a, a bamboo like this one that we we're taking a shower and we just saw some and i caught a couple I'm so i'm not so hopeful about myself but i know that you <laughs> <laughs> all right so we are going to check our trap Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ski. Be careful because the metal on the rock. So, Jilly, Jilly's getting super excited because she loves Nam Nam's up now. Telling her that these bastards are fast. And those ones are a little. <laughs> Stay bad, don't. But there's so many on here. If you were here, you'd be able to see like their the reflections of the light in their eyes. It's like really magenta. Babe, trust me, this is gonna be a task. Where is he? <laughs> you see them? Yeah, you see them. Oh, family of them. Oh, oh. Explain to me, let me juke one. Just juke it. Let me not catch it. They're not hurt. There's some in here already. Um, yeah, there's, there's a bit in here. Is that them that tease me? Some necessary line of it, huh? Go for it. Go, 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 go. Come. Oh, yes, you catch one. You caught one. You caught it. Oh, yes, my you did. God. Bring it up. Let's bring it up. Friend, you, get where? you can get where, yes, so, but no, I, but I see a catch it. We want him to eat. Oh, I'm excited. Hey, hey, you got one. I did it. Hey, another one with the paralyzer spear. Yeah, hey, all right, baby. You don't see me from here, sir. Mm, good. All right, so we're gonna check the trap. Real quick. And see how much we got. And there's like, there's a big one in there. Oh, this rock went on in. Yeah, so this big one. You see it? Oh, that's that's like the alien one. Him.
Shit! Oh, oh, what? I thought he fell off. It was a rock. It, I recorded, right? Recorded? Yeah. Whew. A big nice one is there. Yeah, sure is. What? We stop. What did they get from me? Huh? I stop. What did they get? Where we think they did dead? So we start. We're gonna start double tap. They because we're gonna get the opportunity. What is going on? Roll up your bag, look at this. Say though. Yeah, yeah, sir. <laughs> Just keep the lights out so we can find it, yeah? Yeah. Guys, so we set two traps that you guys knew from last night and of course we did catch some crayfish so I'm super excited about that. So we have enough to make a little dish but we want to get some more. So hopefully those traps have gotten them. Now my trap I just tossed it down there down to the bottom parts and just I'm just hoping for the best. Jilly placed her trap where we see the river shrimp. Now one thing I think I noticed with the river shrimp is that they don't seem to go onto food and feed on it. It seems like they do a lot of filter feeding. So they, they go on the edge of rocks and they just open up their little mouths and they just basically filter feed. That's what I believe. If you guys know, drop it in the comments and inform me. But based on observation, that's what I see. The crayfish are a little bit different. They will go to the food and they will pick. For example, the coconut and stuff like that. So I don't know if that what makes the crayfish catch yield a little bit higher. I'm not too sure, but drop in the comments and let me know. Anyway, we are going to head in and hopefully we can catch uh jelly how much more i think we're gonna catch yeah julia said she think we're gonna catch huh you should think you're gonna catch like 20 more all right let's go Woo! this water is cold so so cold Jano. So already I could see that shrimp was on top, but not on the inside. I have to go dive down and see. Don't look too promising. 
Okay. I think I see one. How much do you see? One? So one, two over here first, one big Babe, I never caught Eddie. That's evil word. That's evil word there, babe. That's evil word. Holy st excited! How much do you see? Like four? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Ooh. Purple ones too. Nice ones. Yeah, I like those. Oh, Hello. 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 Bastards are so fast and they always seem bigger. Like it's ridiculous. Look how small he is. Like from up, like from top, looking down, him look big. I mean it's a nice size shrimp. I mean this is what you probably put in a in a little pasta, but like I'm saying. So if you've never done spear fishing before or any form of diving, like this from our perspective, from top going down, it looks like the size of a lobster. So I guess you can probably scale it down by three and then you get the the general size that you're looking at. But this is a fairly big one. A lot of head, but some nice tail meat. I'll go throw some more bait. Well none was in there. So even if we don't catch you guys, can't say we didn't feed you. So we are at the deeper blue hole section. I'm gonna do a quick dive down to see if we see any crayfish, but real and truly, we just wanna go up and get something to eat. Yeah, I definitely agree with what I just said.
Yeah, I was trying to turn the GoPro. All right, I think we've caught our fair share of crayfish, so we want to make some coffee, nam that with some crackers because it's like 12 o'clock now. We haven't had breakfast, we've been down there for the entire day just vibing. And um, after that, we're going to do some roast breadfruit with some pepper crayfish. Yo, Gilly's been talking about this from yesterday, so I'm just as excited. All right, so guys, we're going to make some coffee but this coffee is actually from ghana the volta region where we had traveled to so if you guys want to try some of that coffee jump to my website soystudios.com and you should be able to see that so dropping a little bit of salt in there because salt adds flavor to everything and then this is the coffee now the package in my little coffee container here honestly i'm not a coffee fanatic to be able to tell you oh my gosh this is the best coffee in the world but maybe you guys can try and tell me for yourself oh jilly you love coffee in it yeah yeah so let's see what jilly thinks it's all right i'm filling that to the top because i want it to be very strong mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. smells good right mm -hmm. jesus all right Drop that down in there. We're gonna leave that. In the meantime, we are going to roast these breadfruit. I'm sure a lot of you guys might know you can roast the breadfruit on a stove top. This is gonna take a while, so might as well start from now. All right. It's mm. good. A little bit stronger. Yeah, I can yeah. see that from the color. That's too nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll go, go by the river to go wash up some dishes, but this is almost done. Usually them say whenever you see the steam coming out from the X at the top, you know that it's done. But uh, I'll give it a little bit more and we should be good. So Julie go feed the whole line chicken friends them yesterday and trust me, they don't stop left with side. <laughs> Father fall, it's ridiculous that like this morning they ate half or like, like a quarter of a turkey. Not turkey or duck, jeez. Like they was on top of the thing and they just box it off and eat it, but oh well, carnivores. Yeah. Anyway, I'll chop up some seasoning really quick. We only have one pepper, but that should be enough. Seed and all. Make it a nice spicy shrimp. Yeah? Yeah. Oh my god, look at all these chickens. You guys eat onions? Huh. Alright, so clean up the seasonings and stuff. And we go deal with um, the shrimp. In no particular way. Usually we eat the head them, we eat some of them of course. But um, yeah. I know some people always say, yo, you're not a good thing there. Check out the poop or whatever it is. What are you done, Shirley? This thing is so small. Yeah, so the way to take out the poop line is usually just this. I know it's a dorsal fin, you'd call it, but um, this fin here. Kind of break it, twist it, and most times if not, hold on. The poop line should come out. Look here, I'm kind of grabbing the poop line, holding, 
pulling, 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 boom. That's the pull point. Yeah. Some people don't really care about removing that, but that's how you do it. Um, you want to cut them in half? Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it makes for a lot easier eating. And there we go for the people who want to know how to do it. Oh, let me just extend this. Usually for like the head, same thing you do with a lobster, the head meat. You kind of do a slight rotation and then you pull. Usually you get some of that out. But that's why you kind of dissect it easier. And then of course, Jilly's going to remove this little thing in here. For me, I, and a lot of people I know it's here and there. Again, another successful poop line is out. I don't know what it is about crayfish, but they are they are pretty hardy, like no joke. This particular species is invasive. Not these. I don't think these ones are pretty okay. But I'm talking about these ones are invasive. So they come in and they kind of wreck the ecosystem. That's why it's kind of cool that I saw a lot of river shrimp down there, because in Jamaica, a lot of places, yeah bear 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 and you'll find more a lot more of these which are they're tougher they're not as nice as the river shrimp but yeah all right so the crayfish and river shrimp have been washed and cleaned and everything like that so what i'm gonna do is just give it a light fry because i want like, the shells to kind of you know get a little bit crumbly so it cracks a lot easier and um then i'm gonna saute everything and then drop the crayfish into that gather some flavors and that's gonna be that not gonna fry it all the way to this cook just a light fry and thing this wind is a bit heavy this is you can basically say it's like seasoned oil because it's the oil that we used on the dock yesterday we just filtered it out of it and thing All right, they're all fried up now. This is what we have. They're like halfway cooked. Just give them a nice little fry. So just imagine the flavors on this right now. You have some of that duck fat from the frying yesterday, some of the seasoning from the duck. And of course the flavors from the shrimp itself. Yo, it's gonna be crazy. One thing I've noticed making um, pepper fried shrimp in the past, sometimes you're struggling to get all of them this red color because all that heat when you saute them in is not quite getting everything in one go so i prefer to do this fried method crisps up the shell a little bit more and um yeah the next part is just to season them deeply with those herbs it's gonna be amazing i can tell and jelly is having one of the the small river shrimp no seasoning on it just put this in your mouth it's hot. Mm-hmm. Tastes it's nice, huh? Fresh. Tastes like <laughs> fresh in the sense of it. I know what you mean. <laughs> Being fresh a car is good. So final step, same part, took out the oil. Now we're going to add some coconut oil to that. This is what's going to carry a great deal of the flavor. And we're going to need some butter for the breadfruit. So I'm going to take a piece and a half. We'll have the rest for the breadfruit now. Don't want this too hot. You know that the oil is very hot when the butter starts to brown. I mean, it's too hot. Well, we have all our seasoning. So, all of this tossed in. It's pepper shrimp, so we use one whole pepper. It's a country pepper, so. Let's see what's popping. Let's uh, mix that. Yeah, yeah. Nice way to know that your season is done. Just bite an onion or bite a uh, garlic. And if you realize it's not spicy, it's more on the sweeter end, you know that, yeah, it's cooked through pretty good. I try to cook this all the way through because I don't want to throw in the, the shrimp and then some garlic, some onion isn't done and it give you that kind of 
very pungent type of taste i don't want that so i'm cooking this all the way through and something that i like to do i keep salt and black pepper close by because there's no salt in there as yet and i do not want to forget them so i keep them close by so as soon as i throw the shrimp in or just before i'll toss the salt into the oil and the black pepper matter of fact let's just do that from now because that's almost done nice sprinkle in take time on the black pepper because them say oh, it block up my urinary tract as i go <laughs> yep I think that should be good. But of course, you salt to taste. And Jilly is frying some of the breadfruit. She did mention that if it's that's your cue. Sweet. If it's sweet, yeah. yeah. It's yellow heart bread food. Okay. This is very turned, but it's not sweet at all. It's not turned. Mm. Yeah. It's turned, and it's not sweet. Yellow heart bread food normally is sweet. On top, just a little bit, plus a little bit of water, because we want the shrimp to kind of steam it a little bit you know rest in there a little bit by the time it's done that will should have been you know boiled off now the part that we all are waiting for tossing in that shrimp oh now waste none of them nice juice they were for the base not at all oh. now we can turn the fire back down to a medium heat Also, the fire temperature is you know always fluctuating because it's super windy so we have to compensate for the wind and as i'd always advise if you can get a bigger pot than you do have shrimp go for that makes the mixing process a lot easier especially if you don't want to break those suckers up Oh no, Julie's cooking in my lid. <laughs> hey boy. Alright, I'll figure it out. Alright, that's my slight solution. Give it a nice like a steam. Yeah. It's funny. That steam is definitely gonna have some of that flavor in there as well. So it's circulating a lot of that flavor. Well not a lot, but quite a bit of it. And yeah, super excited what it's looking like. Uh, it's always great to eat what you catch. I get some river shrimp in there too. Mm. Mm. Hold on. Yes, it's popping up. Some river shrimp there. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, and that's our little plate. Tell me what you think in the comments. Did you like this? Let me know. Really cool experience. I hope you guys get the chance to try it as well. It's a vibe. All right, guys, it's been beautiful. It's been real. So yeah, had an amazing end of week getaway. Um, now we're just gonna get the dishes washed up. I'm gonna go take a nice little swim and then we're gonna head out of here. If you guys wanna see more videos, make sure that you go over to Soy Farms and check it out. I'll put the link somewhere on the top if you guys are watching on your web browser and the link will be in the description box for those who are not on that or I'll pin it in the first comment so you guys can check it out as well. Like I said, it's gonna be one of the last videos or very few and far apart because um, yeah, we're gonna be working on that project over there on Soy Farms. Anyway guys, remember to do things love nature adaptation and always remember keep the link i am so excited for this new venture keep the link
stop for traffic light.